News 2 is learning new details about why a Metro police officer who shot and killed a Grammy winning sound engineer will not be charged. Mark Capps was shot dead by police on January 5th while they tried to save a warrant. Investigators say just hours before he had his he held his wife, stepdaughter and her boyfriend hostage at gunpoint. News 2's Tori Gessner combed through the nearly 200 pages and joins us now to explain. The situation started January 5th at around 2 a.m. Investigators say Mark Capps was holding his wife, his stepdaughter, her boyfriend, and even the dogs at gunpoint, threatening to kill them all. Part of the hours-long ordeal was caught on the family's surveillance system inside the home, according to the documents. Capps is reportedly caught on camera saying, quote, I'm in a mood. Someone is going to die. Investigators say they heard Capps threaten his wife that if she pushed the emergency button on the alarm system, quote, you'll be dead before they get here. His stepdaughter pleaded for Caps to put the gun down, but the documents say he was unaffected. Investigators say they heard Caps telling the three that if they call police, he will kill every officer that responds before killing himself. Caps eventually passed out. His stepdaughter's boyfriend left for work, and his wife and daughter escaped with the dogs to the Hermitage Police Precinct. Hours later, officers tried to serve a warrant for Caps' arrest when they say Caps came to the door with a gun. Now, it's hard to see in that body camera video, but officers told investigators Caps was holding the gun at waist level, pointing the barrel directly at them with his finger on the trigger. You can hear the officers in that video yelling at Caps to show them his hands. They say his position never changed, and because they were in fear for their lives, they had to shoot. Mark.